Hello, this is Matt Cannon with my thoughts of the day. I got a quick thought for you that I want to bring up and it comes from an email subscription I'm part of. And I just want to take a minute to say, if you're not signing up for really quality newsletters that are free, you're missing out. There's two newsletters I'd recommend. One is Tim Ferriss's Five Bullet Friday. I've learned so much from that, just a free email you get every Friday and he'll give you recommendations, quotes, and all kinds of stuff, products that he's trying out. The other one is James Clear's 321 newsletter that comes out. And the quote I'm gonna talk about is from James Clear's newsletter. And he says this, he says, most failures are one-time costs. Most regrets are recurring costs. The pain of inaction stings longer than the pain of incorrect action. And I wanna take a minute just to talk about the, the the failure versus regrets. A lot of times we have regrets because we didn't try something. Maybe you you saw some available opportunity presented itself and you just ignored it. You just didn't try, you didn't go forward with it. Or you missed out on some type of opportunity because you were too fearful of failure. Um, and what he was saying is the, the pain of inaction stings longer than the pain of incorrect action. So what I want to encourage you in today is what is it that you're putting off because you fear failure? What is it today that you could do that you don't do because you're fear fearful that you're going to fail? And he says most, most, again the key word is most, not all, most failures are one-time costs, most regrets are recurring costs. We often regret what we didn't do and we learn from our mistakes. If we try something and it fails, at least we tried and we learn from that mistake. But if we just don't try because we're fearful that we're gonna not succeed or we're not gonna have success, we're gonna be having that principle of the pain of inaction stings more than the pain of incorrect action. Most failures are one-time costs, most regrets are recurring costs. So today, I encourage you to don't worry about failure as much as you're gonna worry about regret. Now I wanna, give a little depth to it because some of you may be thinking this already and that is what if your regrets and your failures are simultaneous? What if you regret your failures? And I would say that that is a possibility. You could do something that you fail and then you could have regrets that why did I do that and how I felt failed at that. But you're gonna far more often, you're going to learn from your failures and you might regret them temporarily, but if you look back two, three, four, five, ten years in the future, you're going to realize all the things you learned from that failure. And the pain of inaction stings longer than the pain of incorrect action. So I would have you encourage you to be um, biased towards action versus sitting and thinking about things. If you're given the choice of just staying there and not going forward and, and just thinking about it, versus having an action bias, go with the strong action bias every time. And so that's my thoughts of the day. It's very brief, very short, but this is Matt Cannon signing out.